and welcome to the underground. Today I'm taking on another request. This one's from a Twitter follower, Hantu. He's asked me to make a video on uh, helping connect an ION console to a WYSIWYG uh, visualizer. So first thing you want to do is make sure that your ION's connected to a network the same as your computer. And then what you're going to do is verify your IP scheme. So we want to make sure we're in a default range here. So as you can take a look, standard ETC range, 10, 101, 100. Ours is a little special, but uh, that's just for a bench network. Key thing is you want to make sure the subnet mask is 255.255.0.0. And then uh, that's matching on your computer uh, that you'll be syncing up to. The next thing you'll want to verify in your network settings is making sure that Net2 EDMX is set to uh, be turned on in default. So that way we're broadcasting because that's what the WYSIWYG program from CAST listens to. So once you have those verified, we're going to go ahead and accept here and go back into primary where I've got a default patch set up. And we'll just kind of let this run over here. Now the thing you want to verify on this side here is uh, making sure that uh, your IP settings on your console are in a similar range. So here you can see that on my computer, it's also in a 10.101.x.x uh, range where as long as the subnet mask is 255.255.0.0 and they're connected to the same network, it should be able to listen. At that point, all you have to do is uh, close that down, start up WYSIWYG here, and now there's an option that they specify here you can see. You need to go into Application Options, and then under here, if you're running the recent version, it's under Additional Information. For ETC hardware, you need to make sure that we are in version 4, and then Allow EDMX Reception. If this is the first time you turn it on, it's going to ask you to restart the program. And then you can see right here, once the program's up and going, it will say that it's actually receiving EDMX. No connected devices just means there's no direct patch. But right now what I have it set to is that I'm going to run just a big EDMX blast of one entire universe going up and down. So you can see right here, we'll just go ahead and press go. And it's going to start running through a full universe, kind of just going up and down. Come back this way with me. And you can watch on the screen right here. You'll see the sources of lights coming up and then fading back down. And they go back out. At this point, you have control, so you should be able to previs. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate in leaving comments below, and we'll do our best to assist. Thank you for watching.